I am trek camping my way across the entire country with my dog Blue. In this episode, we're spending a few days in the great state of Montana, kind of getting our bearings since we just drove thousands of miles from Alaska through Canada back down to the continental US. And this is Roaming Reckless. Here we go. Look how disgusting Poe is. Somebody remind me to clean this Defender. <laughs> Hello. Bobby, you did such a great job during your photo op. People drove by and smiled because you're so cute. So one thing I love about Blue, like he brings smiles to people's faces no matter where he goes. We're just gonna run into Glacier really quick because I heard, rumor has it, in the middle of winter you can still reach Lake McDonald and I wanna see what it's like in the winter. I wanna take a picture <laughs> for the gram, you know? So, I don't know if the roads are open, but we're gonna try really quick because we're in the area and why not stop, you know? That was so disgusting. Exciting, Bubby. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All that, Bub. Good boy. Where's your toy bag? <laughs> <laughs> Cutest dog on planet Earth. <laughs> Before we head to our campsite in the Montana mountains, I just want to take a minute to thank today's sponsor, BetterHelp. Hi guys, it's Future Maria. I was just reading the 5 a.m. Club, which is a new personal development book I just started. You guys know I'm obsessed with personal development books. It's the only thing I read. I read it constantly. I'm very annoying about it <laughs> because I just constantly am trying to improve myself and do better. Also, one of the ways that I do that is with BetterHelp. I have been using BetterHelp for like almost a year now. It's perfect for me because everything is online based and I travel full time, so it's super easy. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and accessible, and that's exactly 
exactly what they're doing because everything is entirely online based. So no matter who you are, where you are, what you're doing, you can take it as a phone call, as a video call, they make it super simple, super easy for you. It's not really intimidating, kind of like how you think therapy is sometimes, or at least I did before I started. To get started, you simply fill out a few questions online about what you're looking for in a therapist and what you're currently dealing with in life, and they typically can have you matched up with a therapist in just a few days. And if for some reason it takes you a few tries to find a therapist that works well for you, it's totally fine. You can request a new one right from the app, and there's no like confrontation or awkward conversation about it. If you're interested at all in checking out BetterHelp and getting 10% off your first month of therapy, you can use this code right here. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this section of today's video. We love you. Can't wait for my therapy session next week. Okay, back to uh, us going to camp. Okay, go party bud. Look at that city view. Pretty. I have so much crap in the right now, it's not funny. I need to do like a full spring cleaning after Alaska and just get rid of like half my crap. <sighs> There's just something so satisfying about putting the aloe cab up and being able to stand up in your defender. I'll just never be able to describe it. <sighs> Let me get myself together. Hey, Pepperlina, you coming up? Oh, oh, you need help? Hold on. <laughs> Poor kid just tried to hop up here and miss. We're on like a downward incline a little bit. Hold on, maybe I'm coming. Oh, there we go. Whew. Okay, stop pumping. You were so cute, Lucif. My little naughty pup. Cabela show and tell. <laughs> you guys, I should not be allowed in any sort of outdoor store with a credit card, okay? It's just... It should be illegal at this point because that's where I overspend money. REI, Cabela's, Bass Pro. I just, I can't walk out of there without spending at least $100. It's crazy. The new Jet Boil, we'll use this tonight, or part of it. Hot and spicy dill pickles. Who doesn't love that? I also got garlic stuffed olives. I restocked on a few peak refuel meals because since meeting the guys that run this company at last year's Overland Expo West. I, the, it's the only company I use. It's just genuinely the best products. They gave me like a whole bag of free meals. And so I ate them all and I was like, wow, this is top tier nutrition. <laughs> so I restocked on a few. Man, they are pricey though. Although maybe, maybe they're not, I don't know. New socks because somebody uh, likes to chew holes in my socks, so. Silicone coffee press. I did not know Jet Boil even had this. So we'll try that tomorrow morning. Sick. Ooh, cute. Let's make dinner. I lost all my <laughs> parts to my jet boil, so positives to uh, getting a new one. Hey, Bobby, what you doing? Checking stuff out. Okay, excuse me. This thing is shiny. This thing is brand new. Oh, and a stabilizer. I also lost mine probably like a year ago. Cool. I can't get over how like shiny that is. And a little spark, the one mine never throws anymore. Nice. Like look at the difference of these two things. Guess which one I made chili in when I camped in negative 55 degree weather. Just Take a little guess. The chili never really came out. Garlic and herb butter. Little two hot there. The steak is huge. I'm already just gonna put half of it away because there's no way I'm finishing that. I mean, it, 
like kind of looks gray, right? I guess it's like slightly pink, but barely. All right, you guys, I have a lot of editing to do tonight, so I'm probably just gonna eat this, get to work, and crawl into bed early because we also kind of have to hit the road early tomorrow. It's my errand day, so we have a lot of things to uh, run around and do before finding another cool campsite. Good morning. All right, it's Aaron day. We need to head into town. 15%. That is not good. All right, Bubby, go potty. How pretty. Oh my God. <laughs> like a 20 point turn to get out of here. Oh. Yeah, popo. Po. <laughs> How pretty is that view though? Oh my gosh. Party people. I've been running errands all day. Blue and I just got done at the lovely Lowe's, giving him a nice little walk. And now it is time to find camp for the night. So um, I do kind of need to keep like moving through the state of Montana. So I'm gonna try to find somewhere around Glacier National Park. Okay, what looks good, Bob? What should we? Where should we go? You tell me. Oh. All right, I've got a dispersed camping area that looks promising, but I just have no idea what it's gonna look like in the winter. We'll go give it a shot. 48 minutes away. Here we go, pup. But up there, it's uh, it's pretty deep snow up there, and I just don't know that I really want a chance getting Po stuck on an incline right now. So I think I'm gonna move on, and I guess find a mountain pull off somewhere to camp at. We've passed a few so far. I'm sure there's more down the road. So change of plans. And that is just how it goes when it's winter camping, especially anywhere near the mountains. Like I guess you can't really expect too many disbursement sites to be accessible because it's just like no one's up there plowing it, you know? But, oh well. Look how pretty it is here. Man, my camera won't focus because the wind, the windshield is so dirty. I love Montana. We are camping on the roadside pull-off tonight. Exciting times. I'm gonna make pasta really quick. It's the only thing I really have to make and I'm just a little bit disappointed because I thought I had chicken and I don't. So I'm literally just gonna be making <laughs> noodles and pesto, but it should be fine. It's good, simple meal, whatevs. I'm starving. I kind of forgot to eat today, so I'll take what I can get. <laughs> okay. uh, yes. He's Yes, uh, sure, he's 
It feels so weird to eat pesto pasta without chicken in it. I don't know. Cheers to breakfast at like midnight. I've been so tired the last few weeks. I'm not necessarily sure how well I've explained this. Probably not well, but this entire trek is getting us from Alaska to like our new little home base state that Blue is gonna have chemo out of. Now that's not gonna be a state that we like stay in and don't go out of. It's a home base because we're we're going there for Blue's chemo and then we're traveling to and from. Does that make sense going to other states? From the home base, we just we need somewhere in one location where Blue can have chemo. That's why I'm having to like move through Montana because it's just a state we're passing through. This propane container spells extremely E-X-T-R-E-E-M-E-L-Y. One too many E's, no? My brain is fried. I'm so tired. Okay, excuse me. Time for bed. I have all three timers set for the heater to go off throughout the night. Bedtime, not playtime. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, and we're gonna be fussy right now. <laughs> I'm starting a new book tonight called The 5 AM Club, which is hilarious if you know me at all, because I'm like the world's biggest night owl to the point where I would rather stay up until 5 a.m. If this was a book about staying up until 5 a.m., I'd be the president. President of what? The 5 a.m. club, you know what I mean? I'm gonna write a new book called The 5 a.m. Club, same title, but just about how to be a night owl. No? Okay, anyways. Here we go. Maybe I should wake up at 5 a.m. starting tomorrow. <laughs> uh, that didn't work. <laughs> good morning! Good morning, good morning, good morning! Oh! It's so windy out. Yeesh. What is this? Very nice, Pepperlo. We are camping tonight at kind of an infamous location on the Roaming Reckless channel. I don't know if you guys remember this, but a few years ago, I came to this exact same location when I was living in my Subaru, and I got stuck pretty bad. <laughs> literally damaged to the front of the room. I'm I'm done. Like I'm cooked. I can't get out. It's because after it rains this gumbo crap starts and you just get stuck. Montana gumbo sucks. Look how stunning it is here though. spending so much time driving during the day. The last week or two, it's like I get to camp and then it's nighttime already. Yeah! No time for daily activities, huh? Okay, okay. 
drop. Good boy. Very good job, pup. off your paws. Up, up. Good boy. Need water? Oh. Okay, excuse me, kid. <sighs> oh my gosh. I can't even describe to you guys how absolutely unorganized and disgusting my truck is. <laughs> and, um, it's for a multitude of reasons. One just being that that is life on the road and that happens sometimes. Excuse me, kid. Excuse me, over here. Another is that we are coming directly from Alaska where we have a ton of Arctic gear and extra stuff I don't need anymore. So it's like, I need to figure out a way. I might have to rent a storage unit somewhere is honestly what I'm thinking. Cause I need somewhere to put all of my seasonal gear that I'm not using, you know? I might do that sometime soon the next coming weeks because part of just everything being cluttered and crowded is that I don't have room for everything. I'm carrying stuff I don't use or need right now. But also Poe is just disgusting. So. It's such a cold and rainy day right now. I kind of just want to like either edit or read. Chill out, you know, relax. I need to make coffee though because your girl is tired. Not part of the 5 a.m. club yet. Wanna be. But for right now, I am tired. Okay. Bubby, why are you the cutest dog in the whole wide world? Why are you the cutest dog in the whole wide world? This is perfect for a rainy day. I'm gonna swap this one. Still the best coffee I've ever had. It smells just like the woods. Alright, silicone coffee press. If this tiny little thing can actually make coffee in the drip oil, that's going to be the most efficient thing ever. Okay, I've got the contraption on. You boil your water, take it off the heat, put coffee in it, and then use it like a french press. I mean, let's give it a whirl. That This is way easier to store and use than an entire aero press, which is still uh, better than having like a whole coffee machine, but I'm all for simplicity here to get my coffee, you know what I mean? Look who's all tired. Look who's a tired puppy little. Fetch does this boy wonders. Yeah! Honey bun- Oh! Look how gross you are! No way! No way! You are getting a bath tomorrow. Are you getting a bath tomorrow? Yeah, you are. Let it sit for three minutes. I gotta find my coffee mug. Where's my coffee mug? That might be the question of the century. Of the, of the century? Of the century, Maria? It is so dramatic. <gasps> Would you look at that? That was like too easy. Okay, wait a minute here. Wait, that is so good. That is probably the best coffee I've ever made in Poe. If any of you out there have the Jetboil, get the Jetboil French Press attachment. That is crazy. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Nice, just rinse it out. Bada bing, bada boom. Blue and I have just been relaxing the last like hour or two. It's been so nice. It's like so cozy with the candle going and it's been raining on and off. So it's like rain on the windows, candle. I've been editing. I read a little bit, but I'm starving now. So I am gonna make dinner really quick, but I don't really feel like 
cooking and to be honest I don't really have much with me you guys kind of saw what I scraped together last night so I do have those peak refuel meals which are the best so I'm going to uh, just make one of those really quick boil some water <laughs> put it in good to go let's see which ones we have what are our options <gasps> Beef stroganoff. That sounds so amazing. I forgot what I bought, to be honest. Venison country casserole. The last Chad Mendes meal that I tried from them, I loved. It was my favorite by far of the entire brand, so. Ah, beef pasta. Yum. Okay, how do I pick one? These are all so good. I think I'm just gonna ask you guys on Instagram. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things about being a YouTuber is like, when I can't make a decision, I can just ask you guys what I should do. What should I eat for dinner tonight, guys? Um, I'm gonna give it like 15 minutes and we'll see what you guys say. I kind of hope you guys say beef stroganoff, but since I've lofted it up to you, I will just let you choose, so. This is updating so fast. You guys are going crazy. All right, you guys, it's officially been 15 minutes. Let's see what you said. <laughs> winner winner chicken dinner you guys know me so well okay it's just like our connection there's nothing like it why isn't this working and just like that it's done i thought that transition was gonna be cooler <laughs> oh my gosh this looks so good Peak refuel? Are you joking? Are you peak refuel? Are you joking? This is the best, the best brand of camper meals ever. I will die on that hill. This is like restaurant quality. This is insane. Why do I ever even try to cook anything? This is so much better. That is hot though. Wow, that is so good. <laughs> Shaping up to be a good night. Honey bun. Yeah. You ready for bed? Blue's getting tired. You wanna go to bed? You wanna go sweepies? Yeah, okay, we'll go sweepies. Here you go, puppy. Night. Go potty. Oh my gosh, I need to clean this trap. Puppy. That dog would play fetch all day, every day like 2 a.m. would stop sleeping to play fetch. It's just wild. Ball is life, right, Bubby? Yeah. Give me a moment, your mother is waking up. Oh, another day, another drive. We gotta pack up. But not before coffee! I'm also entirely out of water right now, which is not good because Blue has his toy, so he's gonna need water in about 10 minutes. So actually I do need to quickly pack up and head into town so I can get him water. Black rifle, so good. I have not been bone dry on water in a long time where like I don't have anything anywhere. I used my back reserve last night, so. We gotta get, we gotta get rolling, pup. Ha, ah, look what I found in the front seat. Heck yeah. I think that was like the fastest I've ever closed the L cab. It's nice that it's getting easier. It's like getting broken in finally and so I can close it without the ratchet strap like by myself. It's the little things in life. 
I have got to clean this trap. I remember sitting in that little gazebo and waiting for my ride to come rescue me in blue. <laughs> we were stuck in the Subaru. Uh, good times at this place. On to the next state we go, bub.